are we fading lovers? We keep wasting colors. Maybe we should let this go. We're falling apart, still we hold together. We pass the end, so we chase forever. Cause this is all we know. This feeling's all we know. I ride my bike up to the world, down the streets, right through the city. I'll go everywhere you go, from Chicago to the coast. You tell me, hit this and let go. Blow the smoke right through the window, cause this is all we know. Two smelly little puppies. Would you get me a card? That's <laughs> good. So the best mummy ever. Oh, we love you more than biscuits. They only ate half of the biscuit. <laughs> Yay! This is in line with us trying to find a new home. <laughs> I know this might seem stupid, guys, but I really want a new home. <laughs> Gnome sweet home. Oh, I can't wait to have a garden to put them in. The hat. Sun hat. I sure do like hats. Yeah, it is a magazine. It's also magazines. Trash. Trash <laughs> magazines. Oh, I think I know where this is going. New pair of sunglasses. And happy birthday. <laughs> I know what it is. Okay. Can I take my sunglasses? <laughs> yeah. Normal life, wife. I may be kind of grumpy when I've had a rubbish day and refuse to laugh or lighten up, no matter what you say. Uh, sometimes I put, I keep putting those jobs I need to do, and you have to remind me the odd time or two. Sometimes I watch TV so much it seems like my to be my life, but though I've got a fault or two. I sure can pick a wife. Oh. To make up for all of those things, I thought it was time you got to put your feet up on a lounger in the sun. Because we're going away to all inclusive bad nights to an Italia on the Lara beaches of Turkey. No way! <laughs> yeah! Thank you. Oh, that was a savage bite. So in today in the commercial gym because they got the bendy bars and on the freaking phone cam put all my camera, all my stands and no memory card. Nice work Lex. But today I stick some music on now, get my warm up sets done in. So I'm not going to show you those because they ain't that interesting but basically just start light, 10 reps on just like 20 a side, then build it up, maybe 10 kilos, 20 kilos a time, building up the weight and then coming down in the reps. So today I'm doing a max session because it's been three weeks just over three weeks since I last did one. So prior to the last time you saw me hit that 210 lift. Since then I've obviously done, I did a, what did I do? I did some five by eight reps uh, the week after the heavy ones. So that's a lighter load, around about 70%, 65-70% of, of your max, uh, eight reps, five sets. And then I did, I did eight sets, five reps. So eight sets of five reps using um, 80, no, using 75% max. Uh, previous week, last week. Uh, the reason I did that was I was intending to do five by five, it just felt good, so I just kept cracking, just kept going through. So today, I'm gonna go, go again, go heavy. I'm gonna probably go around, try and push. We try and get up to that 210. We're either gonna pull that 210 again for more than a single rep, or we're gonna aim to just increase it by whatever we can. A rep or a weight, we'll see. Boy, some bitch say I'm bad boy. Bad boy. I ain't no bad boy. Just been turning all the heat up to the top, boy. Hey. Yeah, I'm the man.
10, lift it again. It went up first time, it went up cleaner, it went up faster. Damn straight, this is getting addictive now doing this. But my scenario wasn't perfect. During those lifts, I couldn't play music because I was recording on my phone, which means I had no way of zoning in other than putting earphones on over my ears to try and quiet and things. But I work way better under some inspiring music, some stuff that gets the goosebumps going. So Lainey came over and I borrowed her phone for the next set. That gave me music, that gave me more motivation. Yes, I'd already achieved what I wanted to achieve that week. I'd already hit that 210 max and it had gone up better, it had gone up smoother. Could I have lifted it again? Definitely, because I hesitated on that lift. I even I felt it, I felt like I wasn't quite as dialed in as I could be at the bottom. But I had two new reasons to try something heavier. Now I have my music, now I have my zone, and two, I'm six weeks deep into deadlifting now and I'm starting to enjoy it. I'm starting to feel the movement. I'm starting to connect with the muscles. I'm starting to see changes and I like to push myself. I'd already achieved what I wanted. I'd got back to where I was last week weight wise, but the lift was better. That's progression. Smoother, felt stronger, felt faster. That's progression. It didn't matter that the weight's the same. One other rep on that would have counted as being better, but I wanted to push myself. Because you've got to be able to take those steps to motivate yourself. You have to be the one that kicks yourself up the ass to do something. Nobody else is going to do this shit for you. And these are the thoughts running through my head. And I thought, it doesn't matter if I fail if I go heavier. Today, I feel like I'd fail if I didn't try. And it didn't matter how small that win was going to be. It didn't matter. It just had to be more. So all I did was put another 1.25 on each side. Just another 1.25. Did that 210 previously feel like it was my max? Kinda did. Did I feel like I was done that day? No. I've been, I've been doing this a long time. I mean, over half my life. Especially when you put this much time into something that you love, something you have a passion for. That's motivation. Ah, uh, uh, it might have only been two and a half kilos, but it was two and a half kilos more than I did last time. 212.5. Don't you rub me on my 0.5. 212.5 is my new deadlift PR max to be working from. And in three, four weeks time, I want to beat that shit again. And it's these little things, this is what I want to get across to you guys. Progression doesn't always come in just one, two or three forms. There's many, many forms of progression and your progression is specific to you. It's specific to your goals, your ability at the time. It doesn't matter what anybody else does or is doing. It doesn't affect you. What affects you is what you do and what you achieve. Yes, others can help inspire you. Yes, you can use others as inspiration. Of course you should. But when looking at yourself on the day in the moment, it's you versus you. It sounds cliche, but it really, really is. Because if you don't beat yourself, if you don't better yourself, nobody's gonna do it for you. But you don't have to do it in one big jump. No, it can be little things. And I've said this often, and I've said it frequently because it's true. A lot of little things over a long period of time build up to one big victory. And it's these little wins that you can set yourself. Like I said, if I failed, if I'd not been able to lift with that extra two and a half kilos on the bar, it wouldn't have mattered because I'd already achieved my goal for that day by having better progression than last time. The fact was, I believed in myself a little bit more, that I had a little bit more in the tank that previously I'd second guess myself. So I knew if I didn't second guess myself, if I had my environment that I'd like, if I had that motivation I needed to be my best, I could pull a little bit more. I could just make it a little bit better. And that's all you have to do every time is just have this mentality. And it sounds stupid, it sounds a little bit hippie-ish, but it's so fucking true. If you just get this little inner voice that's a positive, that's not always trying to pull you down, that's not always criticizing you for what you're not great at and only ever praising you for what you're already good at. If all we ever did was do what we're good at, we'd never improve. You have to take a weakness, you have to focus on it and you have to develop it and you have to make it a strength. If you can't do that, if you don't have the willpower or the mindset to be able to do that, you're never gonna succeed. You're always gonna fall short of your potential just for the sake of creating this little inner positive voice instead of having that nagging doubt. Like I doubted myself at that bar on the 210. It was there and it had an effect. And that's why I went back and that's why I put the weight up. I wanted to prove myself wrong. I wanted to prove that doubt that slipped into my mind, that split second before that lift went up, that split second before you make a decision that's important in your life, that split second that constantly appears in our lives over and over again. 
I don't want the doubt to creep in in that second. I want the motivation. I want the confidence. I want my inner best to go, fuck yeah.